Hello, welcome back to Living Lovely. My name is Kim and this is my third time, almost said second, time trying to film this video. Jesus, please. Let's get started. So as the resident K-pop expert here in Living Lovely, I thought it was about time for me to give you my October favorites. I filmed this video about three times. My refrigerator sounds like it is mowing the lawn in my backyard and it's hot in my house and I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt. But as I said in my first three cuts of this video, I'm feeling myself. I'm trying to feel this autumn weather that is populating, almost said percolating. <laughs> it's populating outside and because of that I pulled out every single sweater that I've owned and I've been trying to wear them. The AC has been cranked down because you know again I'm sweating right now in itself. But I, I'm trying to look cute. I'm trying to look fall funky and fresh which is why I am wearing the sweater despite of how hot it is. And most of the music that I'm going to say today and for my October favorites are not necessarily fallish. They just make, they remind me of fall and they make me feel warm inside so that's the reason why i picked them as my top five faves all right so i definitely said five but you will see that i only gave you four i was struggling y'all it was hot all right back to the video a song that i recently been listening to or i've just been listening to a lot in the month of october would have to be scar scar was a song that was released solely just for one of their company's huge concerts which if you don't know much about k-pop Companies will sometimes have these ginormous concerts where all the bands that or artists under that company come together into one place and put on this huge show for all of their fans. It's really cool. And back in 2009, Scar came out and it was pretty fresh. And what I mean pretty fresh is the band had just come out as well, so their voices are all super high, they're super cute and awkward but this song is so much fun and whenever i listen to the song it reminds me of being in high school um and the fall time is for some reason is makes me feel very reminiscent of high school time so for me i personally love the ability to be able to listen to the song and it's been on repeat the second song i'd have to actually recommend would be from an artist called eddie kim I found him on YouTube and I was like well let me listen and I fell in love with his first album which is the manual the manual is legit the best album ever and the song the manual is the best song ever as well the song and the lyrics are literally as its title states it's him writing a manual to the heart of his girlfriend which is so freaking cute like all the stuff that he says he's like you know up, I don't know like there's like really the lyrics are just unbelievably adorable like sometimes show up at our house with this with her favorite snack just to surprise her laugh and make her laugh and cry with her when she said like it was just oh it's and it and the, the actual production of the song <sighs> golly I could just it's so raw all it is is him and a guitar and man I just want him to sing beautiful wonderful songs into my earlobe all the time because his voice is just on point and it is such a great song to listen to no matter what time of day it is it's so smooth so just like well done so ah uh, just so raw and uh, I love Eddie Kim the third song that I would highly recommend would actually be from BTS so the song that I would have to say that I've been listening to a little bit on repeat is Serendipity. Serendipity, for those of you who don't know, was kind of like an intro song on their initial album. But when they released their full album, they released the full song. And for me, I liked just the little intro. So when I heard the full song, I was like, mm, Jimin, I see you. I see you coming from my heart. I see you coming for everything. My wig snatched, gone flying in the wind and the non-existent wind because it's hot here in florida and we don't get a breeze in the humidity I, I don't know but he was it was just so good and i think it was good because jimin has a insane um ability to i, I don't know his his range is ridiculous like i can't sing along i will be honest i cannot keep up with him in his in his songs at all but 
I can hum along and that's normally what I do listen to the song. So because of that, it's been on repeat. It's been a song I've been listening to so habitually this month and it's a song that I would highly recommend. So the fifth and final song that I would recommend is Close Your Eyes by Crush. Crush released the album Wonderless this year and I know for me, I've always followed Crush kind of like off and on. He's an artist that is, I feel like, very underrated. He is so unbelievably talented. He's a great producer. He His beats are literally always on point. His vocals are always on point. And his music is just the epitome of saucy. Like, I put in his music and I, was, I immediately feel about a thousand times cooler. It just like... I just feel good like he is just one of those artists that makes music that makes you feel good and makes you feel like you're listening to something that someone put their heart and soul into well you guys I finally made it to the end of this video hopefully my flipping SD card does not delete this video again it deleted me the first time and y'all I was so fall funky and fresh I'm gonna put a clip in right here I was even drinking tea watch the clip let me just preface by saying my refrigerator is very loud and it was not making all this noise before I started this video and then I was like oh hey girl you gonna be starting a video all right and I'm like okay I can't do nothing about that so I apologize in advance let's just know we're all struggling here you're struggling because you're here in my refrigerator I'm struggling because it's hot and I got this little long sleeve shirt dress on I got this tea that's about to burn my throat and this little hat on that's keeping all the heat in my body but as I said before, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling this October beautiful weather that's taking place other places, not here in Florida. And I'm trying to give you this smooth jazz 101.9567 music from K-pop. Tastic bringing you back. I was adorable. I was so adorable. But I'm adorable here too, aren't I? I'm a little bit hot in this sweater. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a sweat pit mark that's coming through pretty strong. I'm looking in the viewfinder. I lifted my arm and I was like, ooh, girl, don't do that. I'm still feeling something. Maybe it's a heat stroke coming on, but I'm feeling something. And it's definitely all this music in October. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Please like, thumbs up, uh, add us, on everything, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, love us. For those of you who don't know, we actually have a new Instagram handle, and that is Living Lovely Ladies. Please go ahead and check off that subscribe button there or follow us. And then you can also follow us at The Lovely Project on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll put all of those down below. I was having a little bit of a brain fart there trying to remember all of them. But for now, Please go ahead and comment down below what your favorite K-pop song is. I want to hear what your top five are for the month of October, what you like to listen to as the weather starts to cool down a little bit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.